Our St. Joseph Parish family recently completed a parish-wide feasibility study to gather information about a proposed combined campaign for our parish and our diocese. And members of our parish were engaged in several ways. On the first weekend of June, 4th and 5th, I spoke about this at all of the masses. Every household in the parish received printed information right after that. A cross-section of our parish was given an invitation to participate in one-on-one -on -one interviews, and all parishioners were invited to complete a survey either during Mass or by the mail. I'm very happy to tell you that 73 households participated in one-on-one -on -one interviews in a two-week period of time. And they did this with CCS. That's the firm that we engaged to help us do this study, CCS. And 406 households completed and returned written surveys. CCS tells me those are excellent return numbers for a parish our size, so I feel very happy about that. And I thank you for your participation. These interviews and surveys provided us with a lot of information upon which recommendations could be made to our parish about what we might consider in terms of a combined campaign. So as I opened this the first weekend of June by speaking at all the masses on this subject, I thought I'd like to give you the results on this last weekend of July. I wanted you to hear the results first from me, and then a copy of what I'm delivering today will be mailed to every household this week so that you can look at this even more closely. What were the key findings? Well, this feasibility study revealed some trends, including these. That parishioners were thankful for the strong parish community that we have here. That parishioners are confident in Father O'Connor's leadership. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the understanding that's present of the role that stewardship plays in the life of our parish. Parishioners also noted that campaigning in today's economic environment presented challenges. They shared that they would benefit from more information about the substance of the diocesan campaign rooted in faith, forward in hope, which is being or will be introduced in every parish in our Diocese of Cleveland. The study indicated that the response to the idea of a combined campaign was generally positive. In the in-person interviews, for example, 22% of the respondents were very supportive about the idea of a combined campaign with the diocese, and 36% expressed supportive reactions. 19% shared mixed reactions. And CCS has let us know that the mixed reactions can also be seen as a positive because their response indicates that they perhaps are looking for even more information and are not at this point flatly opposed to the idea. In the in-pew and mailed surveys, the response was more measured, but there also was not the opportunity to ask questions like there would be in the one-on-one -on -one interviews. What was not a surprise was that most of the people who expressed concerns did so around participation in the diocesan campaign. CCS finds this response in almost every parish that's being asked to participate in a diocesan campaign. 
and CCS has not founded a bar to success in fundraising, although its inclusion requires a different approach to fundraising than may have been used in prior parish-only campaigns. So it's no surprise that in terms of the one-on-one -on -one interviews and the written interviews, that of all the items presented, the diocesan campaign came in last place. Participants were asked which of the projects they found most compelling. Debt elimination was the clear winner in terms of which projects to address through a campaign would be looked at. 71% of the personal interviews indicated that reducing St. Joseph's near $500,000 debt was the most compelling aspect of a campaign. And of the survey written participants, 62% rated debt elimination with a one, one being the highest possible rating on a scale of one to five. So one is the top rating, five would be the lowest rating. The Gymnasium Family Center was rated by 60% of interviewees as a one or a two. 44% of survey respondents rated the new Gymnasium Family Center as a one or two priority. And 16% rated it a number three priority. Expanding and consolidating the parish and school offices received similar ratings as did the creation of new parking. 47% of interviewees rated the office project a three, and 48% of survey participants rated the office consolidation project as a four or a five. Participants in both the interviews and surveys expressed similar response to the additional parking. Don't anybody ever tell me we need more parking. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I don't want to hear it for at least five years. But CCS goes on to comment even about that. These were not rated as low priorities. They were simply rated as lower priorities than a gym family center and debt reduction. And by and large, were more popular than support for the diocesan campaign with its programs and ministries outside of our parish. Two major considerations that CCS examines are these. One, the willingness to provide financial support for a campaign and two, the willingness to help with a campaign. And they found from the interviews, from the surveys, that in both of these areas, there is an early willingness, but in order to raise sufficient funds to address the most important pieces of a campaign, there will be significant work ahead. That's no surprise. Regarding financial support, for a combined campaign, listen to this, 84% of those interviewed personally said they would make a pledge, and 66% of those who offered a written response indicated that they would make a pledge or consider making a pledge. Both of these are very good signs regarding whether people would help with a campaign. 37% of the interviewees indicated they would want to be involved with the campaign, with an additional 29% indicating they were not sure if they could. To be successful, the parish will need to have more parishioners to help educate all the families about the need for this kind of a project. Again, that's no surprise. So, this having been said, what are the recommendations of CCS after 
looking at the personal interviews after reviewing all of the written responses. These are some of their key recommendations. Begin a campaign with a working goal of $3.5 million to be realized in pledges over a six-month period. Plan for the campaign as a series of separate phases where each achieves certain financial and participation benchmarks. Develop a list of critical volunteers and build upon the momentum generated through this feasibility study. Now, what does all of this mean right now for our parish? The study is indicating that as a parish, we have the ability right now to begin a campaign here with a working goal of $3.5 million. Now, this $3.5 million goal would include our diocesan goal of $1,520,000. And with that, 70% goes to the diocese, as you know, 30% stays here. So in raising $1,520,000, our 30% return would be $456,000, which in effect could satisfy our debt. So if we subtract that $1.5 million from a $3.5 million project goal, that leaves us with $2 million. of which we would still need to work out what is it then we could build in light of the wishes that parishioners have expressed in our feasibility study. The consensus at this point is that we should continue to explore the possibility of a combined campaign for our parish, along with the diocesan campaign, but with the original ask that was about $6.2 million in the material you received early last month, scaled down from $6.2 million to $3.5 million, which this feasibility indicates that we have the capability of doing. So we have more work and consultation ahead of us before decisions can be made here and before any diocesan permissions would be sought. So that's meaning the month of September is going to be quite busy, and I'm looking forward to it. I ask you to look over very carefully your copy of the summary of this parish feasibility study report when it arrives in the mail this week. And please continue to pray for our parish as well as for our diocese. Ask the Holy Spirit to continue to lead us and guide us. And I want to thank you as your pastor from the bottom of my heart for being the wonderful people that you are to make this such a wonderful parish family, not only to belong to, but have the privilege to lead. Thank you, and God bless you.